All right. Hi, guys. So uh, this video is going to be just a brief introductory video uh, where I talk about a few of the uh, policies of the course, but mainly um, how the course is going to work um, in this online setting. And uh, I also am going to uh, emphasize right from the beginning about this, uh, about me intro assignment, uh, because uh, for registered students, this is how you secure your spot uh, in the class, how you can uh, keep your spot um, by doing this assignment by Friday, uh, August 27th by midnight or 11.59, whatever, <laughs> p.m. Um, and for waitlisted students, uh, I'm also gonna have directions in an email. So I'm emailing everybody, registered and waitlisted uh, students uh, to, to do that assignment if you're interested in joining the class. And this is because some, you know, things happen, registered students drop, uh, they, you know, might not do the assignment in time. And so a spot might open up because again, if you don't do it by this deadline, um, because there's a demand, there's a pretty big wait list. You will be dropped, uh, registered students, if you don't complete the assignment. Um, so we're going to go over how, uh, to do that, how to do this assignment as well as other course stuff. And again, I'm gonna try and keep this very brief. I'm gonna try, I'm not very good at that, <laughs> but I'm gonna try because this is the very first of many videos that you guys will be watching this semester. Uh, and without further ado, let's begin. So that right off the bat here, I'm gonna, well, let me go ahead and just do the PowerPoint and kind of go through that. Okay, all righty. So uh, I think that's gonna be the first thing I do is <clears throat> go over how to do this assignment uh, so that you can keep your spot in the class. Uh, and again, this is due by Friday. It's the end of the first week, 11.59 PM. Uh, Okay, let's take a look at how to do this. Now, I'm gonna go over how registered students do this because the waitlisted students, you don't have access to Canvas. So Canvas is our, um, go ahead and share here. So this is Canvas, right? Here's Canvas. This is our homepage for the, uh, for our class, Bio20. Um, but Canvas is the online platform uh, website, canvas.saddleback.edu. For Miracosta students, it's the Canvas through Miracosta. Same, uh, same setup, really. Uh, you know, I kind of keep everything consistent between the schools I teach at. But this, I'm going to take this opportunity to navigate Canvas as well. Um, and what Canvas and what I'm using it for, uh, as I'm sure your other classes that you take also use Canvas. So uh, Canvas is where you'll access uh, PowerPoint slides from the lectures, as well as uh, because this is an online course, uh, you're gonna find the recorded lectures the links to the recorded lectures, at least, that take you to YouTube, as well as lab recorded lectures uh, and all the lab resources as well. Uh, and here it says here, PowerPoint slides, study questions, which we'll go over when we talk about the syllabus um, and other, other stuff. Okay, now, 
uh, before I forget, I do also want to mention, and I meant, I'll mention this in the email as well. This course is entirely online. Okay. So entirely online, meaning we do not go to campus at all. Uh, lectures and labs all through the screen, not ideal, but um, kind of, you know, all in this uh, predicament <laughs> together. Um, and that being said, this is not only online, it's considered asynchronous. What that means is we do not meet live for lecture uh, or lab. You get to watch the lecture videos and lab videos and complete lab activities and uh, workbook questions on your own time throughout the week, whenever you want through the week. And it'll always be due the Friday of that week, um, the lab that is uh, really the lecture component. You're just gonna be watching lectures, um, taking notes and learning incredible things <laughs> about the nature of life, science of life, biology. Uh, but I did want to mention that this is asynchronous. We don't meet at any specified time ever, um, unless you set up an office hour with me, uh, which I encourage people to do if you have questions about the class and the topics we are covering. But OK, let's go back to Canvas here. So here I put it in bold and underlined and made it pretty clear. You got to do this by Friday to keep your spot and to secure it so that you're not dropped from the class. And so again, from our homepage, you just kind of go down here and you're going to click the about me introduction assignment. Um, and I believe you can also access it from assignments, but I mean, this is the easiest way to do it. Just go ahead and click here. and it'll take you to here, this assignment. So the directions are here, so I won't go through them really. It's pretty uh, uh, explanatory, I suppose, but really I'll just give you the quick thing here. It shouldn't take five, it should take about five to 10 minutes, um, but really you're just gonna reply and write a little paragraph about you and maybe your expected major or career objectives, uh, what you like to do when you're not in lockdown <laughs> or quarantine, um, your hobbies, your passions, your interests, uh, and then post reply. Um, and that's it, that's it. Um, again, you don't have to spend hours on this, of course, this is just a quick little thing so I can, you know, kind of uh, make this a more human experience. And so you, you, and you can also kind of learn a little bit about your peers um, who are taking the class with you. Uh, number five, you don't have to do this to add a photo of yourself um, to your profile. You, I mean, you can, again, this is all about making this as, um, you know, uh, human as possible and sort of letting, giving me a sense of maybe I'm teaching actual human beings and not robots <laughs> or, or just, you know, um, it's, it's, I miss working with students so much. So um, again, you don't have to, of course, this is just up to you. Um, but it is nice to see, hey, this is a person I'm talking to <laughs> through the chat or whatever it is. Um, so again, you want to do this by Friday, August 27th, 11.59. Um, okay. So if I go back to home, so again, I'm going to use this opportunity to go over Canvas. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, you can access the course syllabus here. There, I put a link here and you click that and you can download the syllabus for the fall. Uh, and again, my Miracosa students, I, I set everything up the same way. This is my Saddleback College uh, setup, but I probably just have a different logo and different title. Um, 
But really your home base here on Canvas is gonna be modules. Modules is where you really get all the info. So I have another syllabus link here, and then I'll have week one. Now you won't be able to see week two. I'm gonna set it up week by week. And maybe when I have time, I'll actually set everything up and kind of have it pretty available. But right now I've kind of a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. So here's week one, of course, your first week, and you'll find a link to sh uh, tell you how lecture works. Again, it's pre-recorded YouTube videos, um, two a week, really, unless there's a holiday, I just make it one, um, like Labor Day, Veterans Day. Uh, yeah, I think those are the only ones. Thanksgiving, I think maybe one lecture, but also the exam. Anyway, so um, that'll show you how that works. Lab info, let's go ahead and click here because it's a little more. Um, it's pretty clear, but... Uh, Basically, um, part of completing this um, or part of the required materials for the course, you have to have the lab manual, the Bio 20 lab manual. Um, and I believe you can get it from the bookstore, a physical version, but you can also get a digital one. And here's the link for that uh, to get the digital lab manual. And so if you get the digital lab manual, these, this is information on how to fill out the digital screen lab manual um, as you do the labs. Now, again, how does, how does lab work? You're going to be watching videos primarily made by Steve, who uh, has been teaching this course for like centuries, <laughs> a long time. Uh, and so he, he has pretty, really good videos uh, that you know I have linked under modules. And as you watch the videos, you'll be completing the questions, the graphs throughout that week's lab in the lab menu. Um, so there'll be like the first, do I have it? No, it's not here. Um, you know, there'll be like the introductory, introductory section of that lab. Um, for instance, this week's lab is lab safety. So it'll talk a bit about lab safety. And then it'll have, after that, the section, the workbook questions um, uh, that you will be completing for credit. And that's how you earn points for lab. Uh, so um, let's see. So OK, I got a fix this direction. So ignore this, I'm gonna be fixing it. Um, essentially, uh, it's what I said, you complete these questions. And then if you are uh, submitting, if you have the digital lab manual, uh, there are instructions on how to fill it out and save it so that you can submit your filled out workbook questions. Um, but I do like to mention here, so if you get the physical copy, which is something I prefer personally, um, it's up to you entirely. Um, but if you get the physical copy, you might be wondering, well, how do I submit to you my written answers, right? Um, there are great apps that they are free where you can scan your pages and make a PDF file from it or whatever. Um, and if you need help with that, you can always reach out and I can help you. My favorite's Adobe Scan, it's what I use. Um, but yeah, you just go to the Apple App Store or whatever. <laughs> um, apparently the Notes app, the one that comes with an iPhone kind of does it already. Um, and you scan your completed pages and that's what you're gonna submit. Now, I have to edit how you submit. I did it differently last semester, but it will be under, it'll be under assignments. Um, so if you go to assignments, now just ignore all this because I have to fix it all. Um, there'll be a link, right, that says like this, lab, for lab zero, for instance. Okay, so that's our first week. I don't know why it's called lab zero. Don't ask me why, <laughs> um, but it's lab safety. It's our lab safety. That's the lab for the first week of class. Um, when you complete those workbook pages, you're going to click on that, and then it'll take you to a page where you can upload that file. 
that you either have digitally on your digital workbook um, that you purchase or um, your written ones that you scanned and saved as a PDF or whatever it is. Um, so that's how you're gonna submit um, assignments like that. If I go back to modules, I think, so there's your info and instructions there. Here are your lectures for the first week. Uh, and again, this will kind of just take you to two links. So this is scientific method one, scientific method two. And those are what you'll watch for the lectures that week. Again, at whatever time you decide. Okay, oh, sorry, back to modules here. And then I'll always have instructions for the lab as well. And I th so again, I mentioned the pages submission. Maybe I will keep it in modules. Um, nah, I never do that. Probably, well, do I do it everywhere? Maybe I will. I'll just keep it. <laughs> Why not? I think that's easier, actually. So to submit your lab, your completed lab, you can go to assignments and do it that way as well. But I'll also keep the, a link under modules as well if you want to submit your completed pages through here. Um, either way will work. So I'll just leave that alone. But anyways, here, you'll also find your lab instructions. So videos, typically data sometimes, but typically videos. And as you watch the videos, you will fill out the workbook pages um, and upload them by Friday of that week. So they're always due by the end of the week. So you have all week to watch the lecture videos and also watch the lab videos and, and write your answers to the lab uh, workbook questions, which again, are you'll, you'll see in the lab manual that there'll be an introductory section that kind of explains the concepts. And then following that will be questions about the concepts, about the data, um, things like that. And that's what's due. That the workbook questions, your answers, that's what's due for, for the uh, uh, points for lab. Okay. Um, um, um. Okay. And so again, uh, due Friday at the end of each week. So this lab zero safety on lab safety, those questions are due Friday, this Friday uh, by 11.59 p.m along with that about me assignment, right? Uh, so for instance, the following week um, will be the scientific method lab. Uh, and of course, for Miracosta, this is different. I'm doing this for Saddleback. They're different labs, but the same idea applies, um, sort of. I'll explain to you, Miracosta. <laughs> I will, I will explain. I maybe make a separate video, but um, Saddleback, this is what you will do. Um, so next week is Scientific Method Lab. That's lab one. Um, and those questions will be due Friday of that week. So you have all week to do that lab. Okay. So I think the last thing I want to mention with Canvas, because this is online, um, this is also where you're going to take your exams, which are actually under quizzes. So if you go to quizzes, you'll have the exam and you'll be taking it there. Uh, they're all multiple choice questions. Um, I don't have any short answer questions, um, but yeah, so that, that's where you're going to take your lecture exams and your uh, lab exams. Uh, and that's really it. Okay. So that's Canvas. Again, do the About Me assignment. Waitlisted students. Um, I forgot if I said. You don't have access to Canvas, so, and I'll explain this in the email to the waitlisted students, but you're going to... Uh, 
email your about me paragraph to me. You're going to just email me the response. Um, okay, so you can reply to that email or just send me a new direct email. Um, and this shows me that you want to join the course and that if somebody drops from who is registered or doesn't complete the assignment, then you can potentially take their spot. I say potentially because the waitlist order, it's in order of priority. That's just a college rule. Um, so um, yeah, it's just in order of what position you're at on the wait list. So, all right, what's next? <clears throat> um, All right, let's check out the syllabus. Okay. Um, and I also have a link here to the textbook. The, it's a free online textbook. It's really good, uh, especially because it's free. <laughs> um, and yeah, so basically, I forget if I have a link. I don't think I do on the syllabus, but it's here. The, but honestly, the, what I do if I want to access the textbook, uh, is here. Okay, so here's our syllabus. Um, oh, I do have the link, great. So it is on the syllabus, okay. Um, but if you ever just wanna get to it, I just Google Concepts of Biology OpenStax is the publisher. Um, and then you can get the textbook right there. Uh, you may also get a print copy, which is nice. Uh, and Amazon sells the print copies, but I've, I've heard rumors actually that Amazon doesn't have the most updated versions. So if you get it from the website, the OpenStax website itself, I think is more reliable. Um, that of course wouldn't be free, but it's definitely much, much, much cheaper than like this textbook, uh, which is like $200 or something crazy. I think the print copy is around thirty to forty dollars, which is pretty great for like a, you know, a high quality biology textbook. Uh, again, you're gonna want the uh, lab manual, the Intro to Biology lab manual. Uh, again, digital or paper version. Paper version you get through Saddleback's bookstore. It should be a required um, when you register for the course. It'll probably it should, you know, say like, oh, you need this. I hope it does anyway. Um, but if you if not, it's it's from Saddleback's bookstore, and I believe you can order it to get it shipped to you, um, or pick it up from campus. Maybe I'm not sure about that with everything, but um, you do want to make sure you get that taken care of. And the digital, again, is linked uh, in the modules on, on that link we were looking at. If you want to buy the digital version, um, it takes you to where you can where you can purchase that. Okay. Multicolored pen or pens. Uh, I always recommend this because I use a lot of colors. I use colors to uh, highlight different concepts and distinguish different um, similar looking structures maybe. Um, so I always recommend that you take notes in my class with different colors from red to blue to green to purple, black, all these colors. And let me go ahead and... Sorry, I uh, just paused for a second. I edited the lab instructions on Canvas with the correct date. I think the date was wrong, uh, but everything else looks good. Okay, so where were we? Syllabus, right? Again, I'm trying to keep this short. So this you can read through if you want to. <laughs> I have the important dates here as well. You can always read this on your own time. I just want to highlight the really crucial stuff here. Um, so I do like to say uh, that 
this course, it's not easy, it, you know, I, for anybody. It's college level biology and it requires time and dedication um, to be successful. Now, there's always that one genius, it sure as heck isn't me, who just does really well, and it, but that's so rare, right? And without like studying and without, you know, going to tutoring, without asking questions and going to office hours. So um, I encourage everyone to take into account right off the bat that this, this is um, difficult material, fascinating. And I, it's really a cool, you know, I, I, I kind of, I like challenge. I like to, I think it makes life more interesting. Um, and it makes, you know, accomplishment. It, it's a feeling of accomplishment to succeed in a course like this. But I do like to let you know that it's typically, you know, it, not an easy ride, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, I am dedicated to your success. I, um, you know, I don't have a dog. I don't, you know, uh, have many other commitments. Uh, so I really want you to utilize me as a resource, especially with something like this, this class. And I, I'll, I mentioned this in my email. This class is not meant to be taken online. Uh, it's meant to be explained and understood in person, especially labs. Labs online, we were, you know, when this all started, we were like, how are we going to do that? You really can't. It, it's so physically, you know, it's required, uh, right? You kind of, you need a microscope to see cells. You need um, test tubes and flasks to do chemical tests um, and enzyme to look at enzyme action. And anyways, um, that's, you know, I'm, I'm here for you and I really strongly encourage and um, not just encourage, I just want you to know that I'm always here to help. So please, if you have questions, email me. We, I can answer it over email. That's, that's always easy. I can always do that. Um, if it's just a quick little thing. If you have a ton of questions, we set up an office hour um, by Zoom. We meet up through Zoom and um, I can help answer any questions about the lectures, the labs that you have. Okay, great. So next, um, this policy with absences, um, well, absences meaning if you don't, really it pertains to the exams. Um, if you miss or don't complete an exam on time, which um, you have a 24 hour period to complete it, um, to the, both the lecture exams and the lab exams, which we'll talk about um, in a moment. But you'll have 24 hours to complete the exam. And if you don't, if you miss it, then basically you'll have to take that exam at the end of the semester on the makeup day. Um, so yeah, if you do happen to take all the exams, and by the way, you can only take one, one lecture exam or one lab exam. Uh, Okay, not both. So, uh, but if you, if you take all the exams, okay, um, then you do have an opportunity to retake an exam. It won't be the same one. I typically, you know, change it a little bit. Um, so essentially, um, you'll have another chance to improve your score. So basically you would be replacing the, your lowest test score. Um, you would probably wanna replace or take uh, your lowest scoring exam if you were to take all the exams. But that's, that's the policy there. Um, don't be dishonest, right? <laughs> don't wanna cheat, don't wanna do that kind of thing. Um, 
Study questions. So study questions, these are going to be, again, under modules uh, with your PowerPoint slides and your lectures and your labs, et cetera, um, week by week. And um, study questions are really a study guide, um, but they're questions. I think questions, students have liked that more in the past. I think it prepares them uh, more for the exams and it's a better study tool. Um, but essentially, uh, as, as they're a great study tool, but also if you complete all the questions, you can earn up to three points extra credit. And the study questions are always due on the day of the exam by midnight. Um, or 11.59, whatever. <laughs> so um, essentially, uh, we have four units, three units for Maricosta. Um, uh, but four units for Saddleback, and each unit has a set of study questions. And there are study questions for each lecture topic. Um, so if we just take a quick little peek here at the lecture schedule, uh, scientific method, there'll be a set of study questions on the scientific method, atoms, chemical bonds, water, this is all chemistry. So there'll be a set of questions like 12 or so on chemistry and the principles we talk about in these lectures. And then lastly, there'll be a set on biological molecules. So if you complete all three sets of questions and you submit it on the exam day, which will probably be, um, well, this is asynchronous. I've actually never taught an asynchronous. Do I give them a week for the exam? I'll clarify that later. Um, <laughs> I, what did I do? Hmm, I'll have to look and I'll clarify that later. I'll write it down. Um, but essentially it'll be due either on the exam day or by the end of the week, play it by year. Um, yeah, I, used, I would teach synchronous uh, so I would meet with you guys live, but um, I will update you on that. Okay. So let's see here. Study going into grading. Here's your breakdown for the lecture component of the class. Uh, four lecture exams, three with Miracosta, uh, four Saddleback, the About Me assignment, and a research paper, which we'll go over uh, probably towards the you know, in a few weeks, maybe. Um, I like to make that do sort of in the middle of the semester, kind of, and it's kind of a fun opportunity to research a topic of biology and write about it. Um, uh, and yeah, so that's your breakdown there, your schedule. And okay, this finals week, that's when you take your optional makeup exam, by the way. So um, if you were to miss an exam, or you wanna retake one slightly different exam, that's your lowest scoring exam to replace that score, by the way. I get a lot of students who ask me, um, will our, if we score low, lower than before, will it uh, replace it? No, I, I don't know why a professor would do that. <laughs> Seems kind of cruel, unnecessary. <laughs> But anyways, um, okay, so the lab, um, again, it's kind of the same deal with the lab exam. If you miss the lab exam, you can take it at the end. Lecture or lab, I can't let you miss two. Can't be that nice, right? <laughs> um, and again, don't be dishonest. We're in college, right? Um, so not that you should be dishonest in high school. <laughs> but I know a lot of people do. <laughs> oh, all right, anyway, so the lab points, um, two lab exams, okay, and they're 50 points each. They'll be like 25, no, not like, they are 25 multiple choice questions each. And again, I'll go over kind of exam format, um, like a, a email. Email is the primary way I communicate with you guys. Um, so I'm glad I'm remembering to say that. Um, so email, um, which is on the main Canvas site. It's on the syllabus, my email for both Saddleback and Miracosta. This is how you communicate with me and it's how I communicate with you. 
So you want to check your email frequently, especially these days, because I can't say announcements in class. I can't, you know, so email to reach me and it's how I reach you. Okay, cool. Um, workbook assignments. These are the questions I mentioned in the lab manual. Um, and Miracosta, by the way, um, you have lab packets, not a manual. So I'm probably going to make a separate lab video for you guys. Try to keep that at like five minutes. Just be like explain the differences um, because. Yeah, I got to remind myself how that worked again, but I'll, I'll do that for you. This is your lab schedule uh, for each corresponding week. And again, at the let's say week four is biological molecules or macromolecules. That lab on macromolecules will be due at the end of week four, that Friday, week four, the Friday of week four by 11.59 p.m. So you have all week to turn it into me. Um, and the same for the rest of these. All right, cool. That's it for the syllabus. And I want to wrap this up. I know it's been kind of long. And really, there's not much more to say except a little about myself. If you're going to share about you, why not share a little about me? But before I do that, I kind of showed you this already. Lecture works, uh, directions under modules, but it really it's just watching the lecture videos. That's it. And again, those are found under modules each week for each corresponding lectures um, for that week. Lab, uh, same thing, the directions are um, under modules and we took a brief look at that, that page and they're, they're there for how to complete the lab workbook questions. About me, okay. So this is me, pictures of me. Uh, that's my brother, he's, you know, kind of a goof, <laughs> but we love him anyway. Uh, so that's us actually this summer at a wedding in Montana. Um, so that was really fun. Um, and that's me during grad school, kind of prove to you I'm, I know what I'm doing kind of. <laughs> um, hiking, hiking, I like hiking. It's me hiking, that's me and a dog. I love dogs. It's my friend's dog, by the way. She's so sweet. Um, okay, so I'm from San Diego, North County, North County boy, uh, Encinitas. Uh, and so I've been here. Well, I went to school uh, in Boston. So I think, no, that's not next, but we'll get there. This is where I'm from. Uh, some of my interests, coffee for sure. Um, <laughs> some of the videos I'm probably drinking coffee. Uh, I love the beach. Who doesn't like the beach, right? Uh, but I love the mountains even more, I think, um, and hiking and nature, uh, you know, trying to, you know, getting away from it all is just so nice, I think, um, kind of resets the soul in a way. I love to rock out. I love to rock out, um, you know, Foo Fighters, Nirvana, Zeppelin, so... I just like to include that. When it comes to music, I love classic rock uh, and, you know, rock and roll, baby. Guitar, I included a guitar because actually this is my pandemic hobby um, <laughs> that I picked up really about, I, I started like a month before COVID happened. And so me and my instructor kind of just kept going with through, um, FaceTime, Face, FaceTime, FaceTime, <laughs> FaceTime. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and I, I love it so much. I've always been wanting to learn guitar and it's been really fun. And so now I've been playing for like a year and a half, crazy. It's been really enjoyable. Oh, I added this in, I forgot. So a couple additional things I like to do, swim, run, uh, keeps my, keeps me centered, keeps me uh, feeling, feeling good. Video games, I love the game, huge video game nerd. Uh, so yeah, 
this, and of course, I just like to include pictures of what I did over the summer and you went to Montana, as I said. So here were a few pictures um, and it was just pristine, beautiful nature. As a biologist, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan of that stuff. And okay, so a little on my educational background, keep this pretty quick. Uh, Boston College, so I was in Boston for four years, majored in biology, uh, and that was incredibly cold. <laughs> so I came back and went to Los Angeles uh, at USC to do a master's uh, in cancer biology and a few pictures of me in the lab there but I didn't really like the lab. I liked the data. I liked the, uh, the concepts and what the experiments told us, but I didn't really like performing the experiments. So I re but I really loved my classes. And I, as soon as I kind of went down this road, um, I never looked back and I, I've enjoyed every minute. Uh, and yeah. That's about it. So, okay, that's it. Um, again, I want you all to let me know if questions come up and the best way to contact me, the only way really is to email me. My email's on the syllabus, it's on the Canvas page, homepage, um, Maricosta, I'm gonna kind of make a separate lab video for you guys on how the labs work. And I swear I'll keep it very, very short. <laughs> but other than that, good luck with everything. Please do not hesitate to reach out. I love helping students. This is what I, I do this. Um, I don't have a dog yet. Once I do, I'll still love it and I'll make time. But um, yeah, okay, that's it. Good luck, everyone.